Broadcasting from the Lush But Not Lavish studios located in the basement of the O'Keefe Institute for Advanced Film Snarkitude. This is episode 690, Doctor Strange and a whole bunch of words that come out. <laughs> the Multiverse of Madness. Sure. That's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. That's a lot. It's a long time. You can tell that marquees no longer matter <laughs> no. to filmmakers, right? That's like, true. Like, yeah. That, remember, they don't exist. Don't, who has marquees anymore? No, not at yeah. all. But you would never get that on them. On a movie That's marquee. true. It would Never. be Doctor Strange 2. Yeah. That's what they would. Yeah. If you Google Doctor Strange, it autofills 2. That, yeah. There you go. <laughs> they, they get it. So somebody in the SEO was like, F your subtitle. <laughs> right. We're I'm not, not I'm not doing that. It's 2. Yeah. It's yeah. also hard to figure out, is it and or in? I mean, and this one is in, but I, oh, I kept like saying sex and. In, like before. Sex in the City. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, it's Doctor, but it's not Doctor Strange in. It's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, right? They don't separate it by, like, this character's in a movie right. title. This is why it's Doctor Strange 2. Yeah, yeah. so, <laughs> exactly. But it's not Doctor Strange and Right, it's certainly Correct. not that. Right, right. Like, no, that's, definitely not. I always have to stop and think for Sex in the City, which is, you know, something I talk it's about It's like the Baron Stain it? Bears. <laughs> yeah. It's the same thing where most people, especially if they didn't watch the show, but, of course, everyone knew about it, it would be like, yeah, Sex and the City. Yeah. But no. Never watched a no. single episode. Same. It's it it's it was fun for its, it's time endorsement yeah. like we just had this conversation for its time <laughs> yeah so anyway let's go around the table and introduce ourselves so our guests can talk. yeah I know this is Joe this is Kevin and this is Tom and joining us today is a uh, country music superstar Matt F Bassler hello <laughs> <laughs> he's so polite he's like I haven't been introduced I can't talk I know we did we jumped the gun on him. I well I jumped the gun on his show and he was kind enough was to angry. not do yeah all right <laughs> everyone does you, but... that that shows some restraint like how many people speak up before he can introduce them and yeah. and he just is like no. I I have standards. I, standards. I would think when it comes to restraint, you, I would not have put my money on you. <laughs> well, so, and yet here we are. Hat tip. Hat so tip. is the name of the movie in the Multiverse of Madness, and Doctor Strange is just, he's in it. No, the, that's... The Multiverse of Madness is the name of the movie. Yes, that's exactly it. No. Doctor Strange in... in the Multiverse of but Madness. It, but it's not. That's what I'm saying. That's what's so confusing is you it's think cause, it's... Uh, somewhere <laughs> when this comes out on blu-ray there's going to be somebody <laughs> having a nervous breakdown yeah. trying to figure out how to alphabetize their movies it well for me it would go the 1975 which mm -hmm. i now own uh the first one and now this one but how do you not but should do you, them chronological yeah, within the mcu should, don't you get to the marvel movies oh, no. and just do them chronologically you really no, hide like them captain, all in captain everything. america's in his spot Iron oh, Man's geez, in his spot, that's... Thor's in his spot, Spidey's in his spot. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's just no, not right. <laughs> no, it's right. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to subcategorize. Nope. Like, if there's a 20-something movie collection, I got to nope. have its own little... Well, I mean, that's different. Though. Like, Halloween's in one spot. But well, they're all called, called Halloween. Halloween. Right. <laughs> Two thirds of the movie are just called <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. That's they're how lazy the... that film franchise <laughs> that's is. True. Well, not all right. So, so do you line. put them chron like chronologically? Or... Yeah. So if it's so like it's an. Uh, Homecoming, Far From Home, No Way Home. Right. But like Halloween, you don't go Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. No, it's Halloween 1. Well, okay. So you put them for my, well, what do you my... do now that they went back and retconned? Huh? So oh. it's Halloween 78, Halloween 2007, Halloween 2018, Halloween 2. Oh, you do? Okay, That's so you insanity. put them alphabetically. <laughs> that is, you put them alphabetically. Yeah. Like straight. Well, <laughs> alphabetically and then chronologically. So if there's more than one of the same title, it's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I do it. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. And, and and I bet you every one of us in grade school bitched when they wanted us to diagram a sentence. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's ridiculous. That takes well, forever. Yeah. That's now, dumb. Now I look at my movie collection. I was like, well, maybe it's not that ridiculous. Mine's just spine color. 
Yeah. Oh my make a nice oh, you're one of those with, with the books oh all the book colors match behind me yeah. on the bookshelf how do you find a book oh, what I don't find read, a yeah. book I don't read books yeah. Yeah. I just buy them and put them on a shelf I, I'm all streaming so I don't care I don't have to worry about any of this oh that's fair I just buy it and there it is it's, I oh we're gonna get order. letters I know yeah <laughs> that's, that's, I well, hate I hate physical media and I think it should all be destroyed yeah <laughs> uh, there's think, zero downsides to digital and streaming <laughs> yeah, and totally. I you think know? we should go to people's houses and take their collections and set Thank them on you. fire. Thank well, you. Yeah. That's what they're talking about doing. You got to be careful because yeah. they'll do it. Yeah. Disney so. did some guy in a suit. Uh, excuse me. Can I have all of your <laughs> Disney movies, please? I'm not worried about it. The The slope is um, grippy and we'll never slide down it. <laughs> oh. Tactile. Ta- yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I do get nervous is I I I like movies anywhere because you uh, sometimes movies on sale somewhere else cheaper. Oh sure. My my primary choice, if all things are equal, I use Vudu. Sure. But like, you know, if a movie's on sale on Amazon and it works on movies anywhere, Last but I'm like, weekends five dollars yeah. compared to eighteen dollars everywhere else. Like, yeah, that oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, this is, but then it's like, well, what happens if? Movies Anywhere decides Bezos to Bezos says, screw you, yeah, Movies Anywhere. Guess what? Then, yeah. then I gotta, I got to go to Prime to watch Last of the Mohicans. Which, <laughs> which I won't even remember that it's no. over there. You know? See, There's, I'll just pick up my Blu-ray copy. You know the Rudolph four-movie Bass Rankin collection yeah. where there's all those different year without Santa Claus? So... I have the DVD, but I wanted to watch them in HD. Mm-hmm. So I was looking for a digital copy of, I think, Year Without a Santa Claus. No one has it but Amazon. Yeah. So oh, Voodoo dang. has Rudolph and all those others, and then they only had Year Without a Santa That's Claus. That's weird. Because of rights or, or whatever, but somehow Amazon gets it. So I'm like, I have to go onto my Amazon account. It's not linked with movies anywhere. Yeah. So I'll have to remember at Christmas if I want to watch this that. Is, this is wow. the equivalent of like, hey, I went to Blockbuster. <laughs> I went to this blockbuster and they didn't have it. So I went to this other blockbuster and they didn't have it. Now I'm going to go to the Schnooks over here. Now I'm going right. to try Family, family Video. video. Yeah. And that's it's, it's the same and thing. And you return just them to the wrong place. I mean, that's a di- yeah, it's bad. Late fees. Yeah. Uh-huh. Don't do that. So uh, you're without Santa Claus is on Voodoo. It, it must not have been. It. There was some. <laughs> or maybe it's the other one, though. There's jokes on you. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been not, not been you or that. It might have been the what's the other one? Year with story Santa has Claus. a lot of year, holes in year it. You're one. I'm starting to think. <laughs> yeah. Kevin uh, over there going, oh, I want to tell an anecdote about streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, Tom. Was it Santa Claus is coming to town? It might have been that one. No, I'm pretty sure I own. Oh, that he's one. gonna look that oh, up. Right. Oh my god, that one's been on Voodoo since oh, 2002. Well, like, yeah, that's that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, Santa Claus is is well, unless it's not available anymore. But I'm grandfathered in because yeah. I bought it. Oh, sure. sometimes they do that. It was. It was either that, or I may have conflated with it was three dollars on Amazon and fifteen on Voodoo, and I'm like, well, I'm not going to spend fifteen for one thing. Sure, but there was a reason for it. And fifteen I'm like, for like a what a twenty minute short? Right, exactly. Yeah. It was yeah. ridiculous, whatever it was. So that's why I'm like, hey, I'll get, per it minute. On, I'll get it on Amazon. It's three bucks. <laughs> That's I wonder I if I you. bought like a f- that four, four pack, pack and like it's only available in the four pack. And that's another thing too that. is sometimes they split them up and yeah. it's like I already own the other two or something and I don't want to buy a four right. pack. Yeah, yeah, digital, digital First problems. Man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So uh, shameless plugs. Don't forget we're available on Apple Podcasts, Google, Spotify, wherever you find a podcast. You can find us while you're there. Uh, be sure and follow us so you never miss an episode. Maybe leave us a review. That's always helpful. It doesn't cost you anything. Just saying. And uh, you can also share an episode. Uh, people who were kind enough to share an episode this week, Julian, Jordan, Ralph Tribble, Librarian, Cynthia, Tammy Sherman, Powers, Heather Sachs, Gabriel Lugo, Joe... But how, how help me with this? It's good enough. But I okay. Oh, but you I... son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to come across this well, table. have you heard that one before? <laughs> yeah, only a couple. Yeah, never. Uh, p- when you skirt the Brad Hyen rule. Cause, <laughs> Thank you. Because we yes. gave you the wrong time <laughs> last week and you didn't show up. I did. I woke up that day and I was like, why do I? Oh, shoot. Dude, <laughs> I mean, does that still qualify, though, if he had the chance to be on the show? Like, we still let him. That's true. I, I retract. Did, I, right? In, in, my, retract. in my defense, <laughs> I was already asleep. <laughs> and I looked at Kevin and messaged me at nine. He's like, hey, are you? Coming <laughs> and then at five o'clock he goes <laughs> oh like, shit and I go I guess not nope. <laughs> Take that sure no not yeah. we're uh, st- we're here waiting <laughs> oh man well, I'm on my way Paul Harris Lane Levanway Brent Smith Tom Dowdy Chris Valls Ron Johnson Chris Magic Man Chris Williams Cinema Recall Ryan Terry from the Forza Crowd Podcast Invasion of the Remake Geek to Me Radio Nerd Adonis Vertigay Three One Four Ronnie Castle Minorities Report Binge Movies Matt Neglia. The Manic Pixie Weirdo Podcast, Feel and Film, Chris Wilson, 
in session film and Mike, Mike and Oscar. So thank you very much for sharing an episode. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, I forgot the part where I tell you about our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash real spoilers. There's also a group which is called League of Show Sharers. And finally, Patreon, patreon.com slash real spoilers, where for five bucks a month, you get all sorts of bonus content and you help us out. And we like you more than the other listeners. Anything good on there? Anybody that Doubtful. worth listening to or no? Nah, it seems unlikely. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> should, should we tell them what we're doing? I guess so. Ooh, tease. I, guess, I mean, I, I guess so. It's, I, it's, it's, it's thematically, it's on That's it's what on I was topic, thinking, yeah? So. We're, we're doing Evil Dead. Oh, I might have to be a guest star. <laughs> we'll see. Please invite me. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah we'll I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do this on mic, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you for <laughs> saving me the embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, there's all that. Let's dig into Doctor Strange in and or the Multiverse of Madness. This, so Phase 4 has been kind of interesting, right? Like, I feel like... And by interesting, kind of messy? A, a little messy. Like, so, like, Phase 1, we're gearing towards the Avengers, right? They've, there's yeah. a goal at the right, end. Each of, one feels like they have a purpose tying into right? Into, and yeah. then Phase 2 and 3, we're gear, sort of gearing towards... Infinity War and Endgame, where I feel like Phase Four, there's nothing coming, right? Like there's no. We have the big multiverse thing. Black Widow is what it is, and it's kind of its standalone Shang-Chi. thing. Shang Chi is kind there's of there's good standalone. stuff in it, yeah. but it doesn't feel the Eternals as is connected. A mess. I, I love Eternals. I know you do, but but they don't feel like they're actually like you said gearing towards something, right? Which I think is something that is missing, and I will say. I don't think we're ever going to see like that level of synchronicity ever again. Like the the lead up from Iron Man to Endgame is I I don't think anybody's ever going to match like the way that that works. Right. Ever. No they, matter They how. probably don't want to set it up like that anymore either, That's right? probably that, true. That every movie has to sort of guide to this one giant point. Point. Uh, yeah, I mean, right? Like, they're not like, oh, we got to get Moon Knight in this thing now. <laughs> I mean, I, I, getting, like, Daredevil into Spider-Man was impressive enough, yeah. you know? And then uh, the Kingpin into Hawkeye I thought was impressive yeah. enough. So, I like, think the it, TV shows is really where they're doing, clearly evidenced in this. Yeah. You know, WandaVision and then Loki with opening all these multiverse things. And they're all leading they are leading somewhere but they don't feel it as much as it looks on paper like i don't know that i've ever seen a movie i've seen movies where you have to see the movies that come before to understand yep i've never seen a movie where you had to see the tv show that came before that's true like you have to you had to go watch something from a totally different medium to understand what's going on yeah if you don't if you don't watch wandavision or even what if a little bit now you don't need what no. if it's like I, uh, Southland Tales or whatever the oh the Rock movie the Rock yeah. and Sean the, Williams the comic Scott. book that you had to read yeah. or it didn't make no sense oh man I totally the forgot there was a, the Animatrix right. yeah There's... I think I think watching I think watching what if is a good companion piece but you don't need to see yeah it you don't need know. to see it but I also don't I don't think you need to watch Wandavision I think you're gonna feel oh, it I a don't lot know more. man because when we leave her in Endgame she's completely normal. Right, we the uh, the last time we see her in Endgame is she's standing there looking over the water with Hawkeye. They have their little moment mm. because they were, you know, like oh yeah, I mean to under that's know? what I mean to right. really relate to. It, but I mean like they do it, they I tell it, you in this they tell you, but it would f- I think it would feel like a lazy cheat like yeah. oh like oh we took this character you love and she's a bad person now right. But she you, was I mean if you look at her list of crimes she's committed before she kind of became an Avenger she also has been very bad in this universe. So ah, see they but they rehabbed her they yeah. rehabbed her in the in and to just mm, flip her Avengers back yeah. too. with a line of dialogue. And now she's yeah. even worse. Especially as much as they f- would flip her back <laughs> sure. if you did yeah. not watch WandaVision. Yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't watch the America Chavez show, and I felt that <laughs> way about her <laughs> in, in this. Just out Which of nowhere. Which is a shame, because I, like, I couldn't figure out, because I did watch it, and I was like, I could not figure out how this relates to Ugly Betty. <laughs> yeah. So I was very confused. Yeah. That's, that's a character that is new. Like, out of all of these characters that Marvel has introduced, she is the one who is the newest and like, it's a weird. I, I thought she was fine. I, I liked the character. I, cool. I liked I the character, too. and I'm all in media res. That's great. <laughs> We're doing it, but I never. F- it definitely felt like it's her. You guys, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they show us the little thing with the 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 moms. 
to oh, be hey. like, here's kind of the backstory, but it, it definitely felt like n- this is a character. You guys, the know. way they threw her, yeah. in there, kind of hit the ground running. They did, uh, yeah. and so for for someone who's seen doesn't really know what happened with Wanda, doesn't know the maybe didn't see Spider Man, whatever. Oh, you're. <laughs> Yeah, no, I saw, wind, this, I saw this with, with my wife, who's seen about a third of these movies, but okay. she had seen WandaVision, and uh, and when this opens with this the opening scene of her and what ends up to be the dream and Doctor Strange, and, and she was just like, the hell are we watching? Like, <laughs> yeah. She's like, should I know what's happening right now? And no. I was like, no, you're fine. Like, <laughs> right. I, like this is all, that's a new person. You're right. That That's a good point, because if you have seen all the movies in the TV shows, or even most of them, you understand, you go, oh, well, we haven't seen this before, so clearly You're something's You're introducing up. someone new to me. But for someone that hasn't seen them, they and automatically is, think. And is walking in going, there's been 400 other <laughs> yeah. movies. I right, should right. know what's going on. Is that this is... something I should know? Well, it also doesn't wow. help that this, the first version of Stephen Strange we see looks nothing like the Stephen Strange that we have seen. Yeah. He's right? cool looking, though. That outfit's cool. That's from the Defenders. That's a, yeah. that's the Defenders version of... A, a more recent Defenders version of Stephen Strange, which I, I like saw, the, and I was like, okay. I like, like the look. Like, I think it's cool they did it, and then when they went back to the other one, I'm like, oh, that was kind of cool. Like, we've seen the other one so much. That yeah, it was right. I, I think w- one of the things I did want to, like, talk about quickly is Sam Raimi, right? Like, this is this Oh, is no, supposed we to can't be, talk about Sam yeah. Raimi <laughs> in this podcast. This is, uh, a, this is supposed to be Scott Derrickson. Scott Derrickson left... I don't think he had filmed anything. No, he left in January 2020 before filming started, but there was a script and he was already on board and then creative differences. If if we get, we're going to get more Doctor Strange, right? We're at least going to get one more. Oh, they told us. Well, we don't know what he's going to return in. I know, but he's going to give this to Sam Raimi from here on out and let him go wild. Yeah, that was my biggest complaint. When. about an hour into this movie, yeah. and they allow him to do the yeah. Sam Raimi thing. When it becomes a Sam Raimi movie. Let that roll. It's the best part of the movie. Yeah, yeah. I would agree. I'm not a big Sam Ra- Sam Raimi guy. Like, really? Yeah. Like the I, Evil Dead does nothing for me. Oh, like I, oh, and Army of Dead even less. So Army of don't Marcus. get this guy on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> like I was. I mean, I remember watching it back in college, and people were like, "You're gonna love this," and I was like, "This is kind of with dumb. the humor like Evil Dead Two. I would think that'd be right up your alley with. Yeah, I guess it'd be different if it was funny. Oh, uh, oh. but uh, <laughs> so <laughs> it's just, shots fired. Yeah, it just none of it worked for me. Do you okay. need to go none pee or anything? Yeah, <laughs> I do. I'm 51. But, I always like, have to pee. When they finally let him do his thing, yeah. I was like, this, I, I is would what ag- I, this is what I wanted. I would agree, though. When, like, like I, uh, whatever, Ghost Wanda's peeking around the... St- yeah. You're seeing that point of view. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's great. When, when, when you see her come out of the mirror, yep. like a demon, yeah. and when you see the point of view, which is an evil dead... Oh, yeah. You know, the evil... The going demon. behind yeah. The, yeah. the staircase. There's so many Sam Raimi shots in this movie, and that stuff was so cool to see in a Marvel movie, right? Because there was a voice. You actually felt like... Well, in, in everybody's defense, we did get three Marvel movies that were Sam Raimi movies. Well, yeah, but oh, those yeah, didn't but even he, feel like Sam Raimi but movies. He, yeah, like, uh, so Spider-Man 2... I know it has the that's close like saying, well, stuff, but... That's like saying Spider-Man movies are Sam Raimi movies. I mean, and they are, but like, technically... But <laughs> right. that's like saying that, like, well, beat it is technically a Van Halen song. That's fair, yeah. right? Like, it's like it's <laughs> that's, that's, that's a pretty good comparison. Yeah, like yeah, the, right he on. was do he that was his like I'm gonna take the money and do the studio thing, and right. And I love this character, so I, I don't have to make it a horror thing. That's yeah. okay. Like I grew up reading these, and I love right. them, and that'll be fun to play in this sandbox for a little bit. But that wasn't what you think of when you think of a Sam no, Raimi. Exactly. No, exactly. This movie was actually a yeah. horror movie, and yeah. it felt like a Sam Raimi horror and movie. And it gets which was better so cool. in the last half, because that the first 40 minutes of this movie feels like the last 40 minutes of a different movie. I would like, agree it, with that. It felt yeah. like, even when they get out of this initial, like, in meteor risk, nice, but, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> even <laughs> when they get past that... Like it still feels like you're watching the climax to a different movie. I was gonna yeah. say the same thing. It does feel like the showdown right. of a different. But you know that's that's another thing is with comics. Even though it did feel a little bit jarring in that way, it also felt like one of the most comic booky oh, yeah. things oh. I've ever seen. When they're fighting that one-eyed octopus monster, right out of the comics as well. It, a- it felt like I was watching a comic book where I haven't felt like that with most of these other movies. It feels like the little yellow box is going to pop up yeah. and be like, "Watch, uh, right. you know, <laughs> Spider-Man." Yeah, the yeah. Afro- you're going to like, get you're going to get the little like info box that for more information. At, exactly. Check out Spider-Man one twenty nine. This, this yeah. is so and so who you know. That was really cool. Where I we 
jump right into that. And, and at first I'm kind of like, I'm, it's jarring, which it's supposed to be with that stuff. And then it goes right into it. And I'm like, boy, oh, this feels cool. Like it's, it's got that Sam Raimi sensibility where he doesn't take it too seriously. Right. He makes movies like this, like the evil dead, which are goofy and silly, well, but they okay. fit in the, they're, Yes, you know, I, but he's I not agree. Take, he's not but, like Fast and Furious is ridiculous. <laughs> but then Vin Diesel's got to be so serious because it's right. so cool. But when Sam Raimi makes silly stuff but happen, he doesn't all the time, right? There's the simple. There's a simple plan, and there's no, the no, no, no. I, Kevin Costner baseball and whatever that was. Yeah, for no, I know he game, game <laughs> for love of game. Or I know he can called. do it differently, but I'm saying here he didn't, and that's that's what his he wants style to do. That yeah is silly. It was fun, and it's like oh wow. I remembered we're in a comic book movie, which can be silly right. and ridiculous and wacky. And I think he, in, in in fairness, like when I was kind of bagging on on the Spider Man movies a little bit for not being quote unquote Sam Raimi movies, you couldn't have made a movie like that. Oh sure, back then, like you couldn't have taken a comic book movie and done something like that. People would not have known right what you were doing at all. And now it's gotten, it's matured, right? Ironically enough, <laughs> to the point that you can. Do do something like because that because people are on board, board. Right, right, right. So you can try different and things you, now. You there wouldn't be the MCU were it not for those first, yeah, two and a half Spider Man movies. I X Men okay. and Spider Man. Yeah. You God, bless I it. love Blade. I'm just saying, but you don't Blade get didn't you catapult. don't you do not get to X Men without Blade. Blade is the test product, and they're like, oh. This works, but it's a rated R. It's it's not. D- but you don't get to like no. Who is it? Fox and you know no Fox and Sony do not take the chance on Spider Man and the X Men if Blade fails. Yeah. If Blade is a massive tank and bombs, it's it's years before I, you get X Men. I don't know that I ag- agree with that because Blade is such a lesser superhero than Spider Man and X Men. I agree that I think somebody would have been like, well. That you was used, played. You used a character nobody's ever heard yeah. of. Only the nerds know who Blade That's is. True. That's but true. But like regular people know who Spider Man is. That's like if Road to Perdition fails, <laughs> yeah. we'll never make another comic <laughs> no, book movie. That's it. We We're don't get History of Violence or we Tom don't Hanks get... movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh yeah. That's... Sorry, Tom. We don't get Ghost World. We don't get no. any of that Mm-mm. stuff. Yeah. But yeah. So I really appreciated what he brought to the table with making a comic book movie fun and silly and look like it was jumping off the page where a lot of things we talk about don't translate to live action right like costumes sometimes don't translate sure. some of the ridiculous stuff doesn't look as good but would that fight when when dr strange and wong are teaming up and flipping around and this big eyeball monsters crushing things and all that i'm like this is fun that is the advantage of dr strange right because dr strange is so wacky and so out there like green lantern right kinda, where he can make yeah. things yeah. and do well, things not even that the- but like green lantern you great movie oh yeah yeah I, let me be clear i was talking about specifically the ryan Reynolds movie that's yeah and i thought like me a... not liking evil dead would be the hottest <laughs> take on this on this show but i like always gotta one up me yeah he that character and those books have always been so wacky and so yeah. out there you know it's uh, just an excuse to sell blacklight posters that's exactly <laughs> that's it right it i think it, i think did steve ditko was the original artist on that tales of suspense run and then it kind of just went from there, and it got you know you're in the 70s. Comic books tend to go from there. They do, like they. That's true. They do, but it got even go weirder. There. Yeah. Right. Like, and then now he's kind of the end. Like that's the problem with Marvel comics, in my opinion, right now is that everything kind of has to look like the movie. The movie, but that's yeah. pretty common. It is, I especially mean, when, now that these movies are. As when big Batman as they came are. out in '89, all they, they did right. that in the. the con, it, yeah. He wasn't wearing the black suit. He wasn't wearing a darker suit. I don't. '89. I don't think. I'm trying to remember. I. I, did, I don't think it was all the way black like in the in the movie, like the but but gray. they certainly darkened it up. Sure, you sure, know? sure, sure. It was no longer the blue and the yeah. bright yellow. It's synergy, as uh, yeah, Eddie Brock really from is. Spider-Man <laughs> Three will tell you. Synergy, <laughs> yeah, right? And it and it's you know, uh, and we're gonna get it big time. Is Thor the end of this year? Thor comes out in July. It's Holy soon. Yeah, it's really yeah. I, was, soon. I thought that. I was like, I thought that was this summer. Oh, yeah, it comes out July eighth. Okay. Sweet. So Doctor Strange has a dream. America Chavez is being chased by the demon trying to get her. They're trying to get to the Book of Ashanti. We find out, which will give the sorcerer any ability he needs to fight his foe. You know? Right. Correct. So to win. So they are trying to get to it, and this monster's taking them out. Uh, we see Doctor Strange actually try to absorb America's powers. Yeah. So the demon doesn't. He He's reali- like, the, he realizes the only America cannot control her power is the only person that can control him is strange and he decides to take her power and kind of turn on her a little bit he does the same thing that he when he's talked to spider-man where he's like it's the greater 
Good. I gotta like, tell your you life though, is not. I got a big old question about that. Sure. The end of Spider Man, they all forget who Spider Man is, right? Mm-hmm. So how in this movie does Doctor Strange say, "Oh, we had this thing with Spider Man in the multiverse"? No, they don't know Peter Parker's Spider Man. They Everyone, know Spider-Man, Spider-Man exists. exists. Is that what it was? Yes, uh-huh. Peter Parker. Oh, man. I was sitting there at the theater. I was like, come on. So none of the on. Avengers is friends. No one will know who he is. But they know who Spider-Man, Spider-Man is. Spider-Man is correct. Okay. So I we see Doctor Strange turn on her, but we know that it's coming from a place of I have to save the universe, but it's still like, God, he's killing this girl, so, yeah. so the demon doesn't do it. But anyway, she ends up activating her star portal power which is what she does and it allows her to jump to different multiverses so uh she flies through it the dead dr strange body flies through it from the demon that killed him and they end up in our universe right they end up, which i also have a problem with they are not the 616 oh why is that I because understand. the comic books are the 616 but nope hmm. so the, you're the, saying that mcu the, saying has it, to be separate from comics absolutely they, they, they exist at the same time, but they're different sure, variants. It's a of... different. Yeah, I think the six one six is Marvel Comics as we know it. Yeah, right, the comic books. Okay, the MCU can be seven one seven, right, or eight one. I don't Interesting. care because I like six... that. I'm like ah, comics people understand like the right. main the main universe is six one six, and that's and what they're trying. The comic books. That's okay. the way I take it. <laughs> yeah, this is this <laughs> is a movie. This is your adaptation <laughs> of. Yeah. The six one six. So this is the main one, and I and with any like multiverse stuff like that and time travel, you, I do think you always get the danger of like none of this matters. Sure. Right. So I think they had to put the baseline of like, hey, you guys are the six one six, signifying the... that this is the one. This is because <laughs> I keep seeing people on the internet. You know, they'll be like, oh, you could just pull in a different. Uh, well, that's what they do, right? Like that's the, on, that's the gimmick now. Is oh we don't have a Captain America like we've lost our Captain America. Well, Go for better or to... for worse, now whether it's a casting dispute, creative <laughs> differences, you want to just right. kill people off but bring them back. It's like this is what this movie does: is you now have the yeah, power. You got to of... be real careful with that because that's what killed heroes, right? right. Oh, once sure. They, once they introduced time travel, they would just and every time they got a new writing team, which was like every five episodes. Here's a new Milo Ventimiglia. They, yeah, they they would just they would kill off. They would have some great story and they'd kill somebody off or whatever. And then the next episode, the new writing team would come in and they'd use time travel and they'd completely right. undo it all. Right. And they would do. And when they did it like the fifth time, it was just like I'm out. Yep. They've introduced it's a giant Deus Ex Machina machine now, and right. they can do w- literally you whatever can, they want and explain it. You with, can bring in any character back. You can br- you can change characters. I mean, I think we're gonna get a Robert Downey Jr. No, I think we're getting Wanda back. I, I mean, you think oh, I, I just don't think she's. Dead. Oh, I think that one is. You think so? Oh, I yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I do. No. I think. I think. I that, think she. They, she of could course, be. she could that be. Vari- could be. That variant yeah. of Wanda. I, we're not going to see that version of Wanda. Put it on record. I'm just saying. I don't think so. But because we'll she hasn't met Vision again yet. Yeah, you and think they just killed her, and now uh, the whole thing. Well, over? the uh, since since Westview. Well, she no, because that Vision is gone. Oh, see Wanda Vision. Yeah, oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. But that that the. The version of Vision that we knew is gone. He's dead. In the same way Wanda's well, gone. That's what I think. But, but, the, but the version of Vision that we have is this different, is the white Vision. Wait, wait I'm sorry. This is so sorry. <laughs> what, what happened to Vision? So Vision dies in Infinity War, right? Like Thanos plucks, she, plucks the gem. See, I think it's going to be a thing that, that Vision is the Mind Stone and that's the personality. And then Which is fine, and... but... The there's a new vision, like there's the white vision. This yes, with the different stone because she that made I, him. That I, right? What? No, that's no, the one that's the government, the government sh- made. shield oh. or sword. Or... But they break through, and like he starts to have the memories mm. of the old vision. So I think from here on out, that is the version of the vision we're going to get. Is the one the white suit vision? And that's why I think the, Wanda the, has to meet up with that because then she has to be like, well, but you actually are the Mind Stone and here's the Mind Stone. Yeah, like, and do now, you think this is the, the color... end of her arc? You really think that Scarlet Witch Wait, that what we you know is... Idiot? Idiot? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but really, you think like the way this ended, everyone's no, no, at no. peace now and it's like, okay, I'm well... Saying, I'm saying that... Okay, so look. In the comics, there is a version of Wanda who becomes this character yeah. and is, is different. It is not Wanda anymore. Mm-hmm. So I think that version of Elizabeth... Olsen mm-hmm. is gone and she may look di- th- like this character might look different I think if we're going to get a different Scarlet Witch mm-hmm. from a different multiverse okay. 
that's going to be our if if they bring her back gotcha. right like we just said there could be she's like hey by the way well, i just starred in this movie i get x amount of dollars they're like no yeah and <laughs> but it's also if they want to bring her back it's a you know they can use the multiverse as a way to to uh expunge the bad thing she's yeah, done, right? right? Like, oh, this wasn't me. We pulled this character in from a different multiverse where she didn't do these awful things. Right. So it's okay to like this character. She was the mom. She was, the, you know, I mean, she right. I guess there's a, a Wanda that's had a lot to do with this movie. We the see one the that good Wanda that's never done anything bad. And right. They, clearly. But, but then she's so, got her whole thing going on. So it'd be really weird to pluck them out. Well, you just pluck all three of them. Well, that, because yeah. the thing I've heard a bunch of people say online that I think is insane. <laughs> uh, they'd be like, oh, they should just get Killmonger from a different universe where he's good and have him be Black Panther. And I'm like, that's what? That's so lame. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. And now they might. Uh, you know, like, uh, that's the thing. We, I, we don't. They have said nothing yeah. about that movie. Like, there's no. I, I just don't want to cheapen the impact of these right. stories. But if they bring back RDJ as Iron Man, you are going to lessen. Yeah. Even though, oh, but it's a different one. Whatever. No, he, we, he's dead. We cannot see him anymore. If right. you do, it you will know, happen at some point. I know. We, I, that's what I'm saying. In 10 years when these things, the oh, we're only them, making 1.5 billion now. We the three of them are coming back. The Captain In America. Point, Chris Evans. Well, and I wouldn't be surprised when you talk about how there's not a phase build up like go, Going into Avengers or Endgame, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that's their a phase build oh, up at some point. Is to get all three of them back it's together. To get we gotta back. go get the whole crew. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get the band back together. Because there, I, somebody asked me that last night. They're like, so are they, they play the theme to Rawhide? <laughs> <laughs> are they building in a new Avengers team? And I was like, not really. Like th- maybe Falcon Cap and She Hulk and not Spider Man. Like I maybe I don't know. Like there's nothing. The, the Avengers that we knew are gone, and yeah. I don't think we're going to see them for a very long time. Until now, they but, realize they need them. Yeah. Then you get West Coast be, Avengers. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, Hawkeye leads that team. Oh, yeah. But we've got the Fantastic Four, and we've got the X-Men. Like Those are two that right. you could put the Avengers on the back burner, and it do, you could do Avengers versus X-Men, which is a thing that has happened more than once. Not event. I'm sorry. Fantastic Four versus the X-Men. You could do that. So the demons are trying to get America Chavez, and we don't know at this point. So Doctor Strange goes to uh, Wanda and says, hey, you're a witch. What are these runes? What is going on with all these demons? And she's like, oh, hey, where you got that uh, that girl? I think that's a pretty brilliant reveal where she's like, he's explaining who America is. Yeah. And he was just like, where? And she says, where are you taking America? And when Wanda goes, it was me. I did it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but, like even when she's, I mean, I, from the trailers, you don't assume that she's right. the bad guy. No, which is great. They, she is, they, the, they she is not, the big bad guy. They mm-hmm. should not spoil that. And that's the thing, you know, marketing a lot of times gives too much away. Yeah. I like that, that in the marketing, it just looks like Wanda's doing action Avengers stuff, like yeah. fighting bad guys is what you think. No, she's the bad guy. She is the big bad guy. So it, it, it's revealed like, like this beautiful orchard and, and I like how Doctor Strange is like it almost looks real. It's like it is real. I put the magic away and then it's like, nope, you lie. Nope. She says the hardest part is the lie. Yeah. And so she's evil. She wants America so she can jump multiverses to get her kids. Doctor Strange says they're not real. And she's like, Yeah, they're real in every other universe and I can take care of them and find cures if they need it. She this, so the whole plot of this movie is driven by her being reunited with her kids. Yeah. The kids that she, in in our reality she created like they were not real in ours just like the vision in wandavision Mm -hmm. wasn't real i gotta tell you i don't see what she sees in those kids (laughs) (laughs) that song that song man that was that song i was like oh danny elfman wrote that (laughs) (laughs) and the the credits it's like the ice cream song oh man (laughs) that's terrible uh, yeah, it yeah. sounded like an Elfman tune. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good tell. So she, Wanda is now on the attack. Like yeah. she is going after America. The, um, Strange takes her to. Did you see the Oswald cameo? Yeah, no, that where was, was it? That's what they're watching. They were though. watching Oswald. Oh, the Lucky were they Rabbit, really? And That's then later fun. they were watching Snow White. Mm-hmm. Snow yeah. White at the end. Yeah. Um, so he takes them to the. the pl- Comertage. Comertage. And of course, Wanda attacks. And in the process of the attack, uh, America activates her power. And I, we should okay. We should also we gotta talk about the cool stuff. Of this well, enough. before like <laughs> the dead, the <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts is the dead strange from the alternate universe. They're like, what are you gonna do with that body? Well, it's Chekhov's 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, it's in that, 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 that is in the trailer. Like you see a zombified, which is what I'm now. I'm, yeah, you know, I don't watch trailers, but what I'm so glad of is I didn't look at any stills or anything. So when he comes back as a zombie, I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe people. Why would anyone want that spoiled before I, seeing this movie? So I assumed. <laughs> Right, Marvel Zombies Some is a... Some people open their presents on Christmas Eve. <laughs> it's true. Some people I know. I'm just saying, like, the reveal of, oh, my God, he is going to be fighting in the climax of this movie <laughs> as a zombie. Well, so that's not the reveal. <laughs> the re- like, in the in the trailers, it's just a zombie strange, I know, but right? I didn't want to know, like... And right. Marvel Zombies came out in 2000, like, post-Walking Dead... And it's it was a massive comic. But when they hide the body in the beginning, right. and you know that there's one, then you kind of <laughs> mm-hmm. piece it together. Which yes. I'm just like, huh? That's I've come buried, back later. I've, but... I've buried worse things. Yeah. Uh, but Comertage, so I really like the creepy stuff that Raimi does. Like when the all the what do you call them? All the pupils mm-hmm. of the you know the mystic arts are have this force field around Comertage, and then wanda's like you know i gotta get in there and so she creepily like you can see that she's getting into their minds and she sneaks up behind this guy that one just like, is yeah. that is evil dead all day yeah. like yeah. when she creeps around the yeah. side of his head i love it, just run, run. Yeah, and uh, and then so uh, they try to trap her. Strange and Wong trap her inside of Comertage and put her inside of this mirror dimension. Mm-hmm. And she's all freaked out, and she tries to break the mirrors, and they all shatter around her. And then when she goes and puts her finger on the one of the mirrors, and it's liquid, mm-hmm. and then they find out she's trying to get them through puddles and reflections on all the surfaces. And then she comes out of that mirror. Is that like a drag me to hell? What have we seen that demon that like cranks their body around? There's, uh, I mean, that's the horror some, movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's another. It's a very similar that eerily. It's definitely like an, a little Evil Dead. Drag me to hell. I don't think has. It's like it's like a goat. I okay. think that's like the big. There's some creepy stuff yeah. in there though. But anyway, the way well, that we saw that that Bloomhouse maybe knock, that's the knockoff one. version of Get Out. Yep. That. Uh, You're right. That had that, and then that one with the the HBO one where the chick had her head on backwards. She walked weird and stuff. The HBO was malignant. Oh, oh there we Christ. go. Malignant. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. That, that's a movie. Yeah, right there. see, that's a- Matt. Is that a good movie? Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> one of the best <laughs> films. I, think I have it on tape somewhere else. There's there not even a different reaction. good, bad, malignant. Yeah, like, that's, there's hey. a <laughs> malignant too. <laughs> you better, you better have me right here. Oh, you know it. You gotta see. Uh, so we get those yeah. creep, the creepy imagery. I loved all that stuff, and that's where Raimi starts to come in and play with the look of this film. And and I think it's so cool to get that stuff. And like we were saying earlier, I wish they would have let him. And I I get that Marvel's like, hey, you can do some Raimi stuff, but they didn't let him go full Raimi. Sure. And I think if they would have, and maybe that would have bumped it up to an R. And again, I know they're not right. quite yeah, ready to do that. Yeah, it's surprising that this isn't it's an close. R. It's they, close. Real some, close. <laughs> they were, they, there were some grease palms to get that PG-13. Big time. And, yeah. and, a, and most of the kills are off screen which yeah. is why they let well, them get away well when we get to it. the illuminati it is all on screen well, no not all that's what i mean like when with the captain carter that's true cleverly right. you yeah. know what's happening we've seen it in enough movies but they don't show it that's true you just see her completely you know top half of her body go to the side of the camera <laughs> but you don't uh, you see your shield it's the it's what do we talk about when it's like no you don't ever see it you think you do but it's you implied d- yeah but the, what movie is that where people are always talking like pulp oh, fiction yeah, the, like, it, oh, like, yeah. Like you don't see him kill anybody with that samurai sword. You hear the noise. You hear the, the noise. He takes. The, he's like takes the sword and he like he he like stabs it like behind. behind he's got him. his back and it yeah. goes behind him. But but you don't actually see it. Everything right. you think grosses you out about that scene doesn't actually happen on screen. There sick. it is. Exactly. Okay. So on screen because I was gonna say it wasn't really the sword that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was us. Well, I look. I mean, so... <laughs> we don't kink shame. So here. are you saying the gimp might still be alive <laughs> <laughs> if you don't see it on screen? <laughs> well, I don't think he's in the six one six, Matt. He is definitely not the six one six. Yeah, he's in the six nine six. So, uh, yeah. So the America really only activates her power when she's un- she's scared or she's freaked out not right? unlike the real america correct yeah, yeah. that's the only time we activate our power <laughs> but this is, is the, when fragile never mind i think the writing in this movie is kind of slight where i, I think is. the weakest point good performances good raimi stuff and visuals and all that but you get kind of tropey here with like i don't know how to use my powers i only do I it when, do I'm when i'm scared when I'm mad or and, and then yeah and so it's like we've seen kind of all this before and, and it really it feels like the movie moves at a really good pace 
but it's not There's a pacing not a lot, issue. But it's, it's not, not a lot of meat on that. Bone. Yeah, so really you're, you're yeah. like maybe slow it down and actually make it a little longer so we can get some more development. Yeah, here. this is where you know having top tier actors in their movies really saves the day, big right, time. Right, like it, like they. They if find the, ways to to add meat to that. Bone. This is the guy from the seventy five version. We got a different thing. All yes. the <laughs> this is uh, Heat, right? Like the scene from Heat when yeah. you see the two actors do it that aren't De Niro and Pacino, and it's the same script almost. Yeah, and I mean, then you watch. Them. I mean, I think it's not it is almost. The same. It is. I mean, it is, mean, yeah. it is basic. <laughs> I mean, it's like ninety eight. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It, it changed is. an and to a the. Right. But it's just if I say it's the got... same script, someone's gonna go, oh, but he says the instead of in. You know. Yeah. But. This is the other problem I have with the writing is that even though the story is kind of slight, the dialogue isn't that great in certain parts. And you have an amazing actor like Elizabeth Olsen. Yeah. But sometimes the way that she's delivering these lines, it's like she's trying to elevate this material that yeah. just cannot get to where it needs to be. And then Elfman punches it up with a dun, dun, dun. It is. I am. I am <laughs> glad that they brought Elfman back. Right. Like Ramey Elfman and Bruce Campbell, who, again, has a pretty fun cameo mm-hmm. in this. Pizza Papa Pizza, always gets yeah. paid. And then gets punched in the face a bunch. Mm-hmm. Uh, great by, Evil by Dead. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's evil all dead. Evil Dead. Oh, it's its own hand, right? Yeah. Like, it's the whole, that's the whole gimmick. Uh, but, but, but to my earlier point with, with you know, I, I think Olsen is a great actor. I think she's amazing in WandaVision with all the she has to really, do. She's a, but this script isn't as good as WandaVision when it comes to the dialogue. And the things that they punch up, they come off a little hokey, right? Like which, the, There were things that I just felt like, just say it like a human. Just yeah. reword it. But oh, she, she's, sure. you know she's I mean? trying to go for the big monologue delivery on these things. And you're right. It's like people don't talk like that. So it, And then when Elfman, which I think is scores great for this movie, but when they punch it up after every line of dialogue mm-hmm. with that dun, 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 it's like, oh, that was kind of corny. Like, <laughs> See, I, I think this is supposed to be and yeah. the, the kind of movie you used to watch on Saturday afternoon. Yep. Like, this is supposed to be that. And I know that that's kind of, not kind of, that's definitely a bygone error. Now you can watch... Anything you want, anytime you want. Yeah, there's on, no on any device you want. Real but, prestige, I but, guess. But you know, when I was a kid, I agree. It, it was like the, this is the kind of stuff that would play at one o'clock in the morning on your local UHF channel, or at three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. Sure. And and, uh, and I I think that's kind of what Ramey wanted. But that's the stuff I love, and I I 100% agree with you, but the actors have to know that's what they're doing. Yeah. And I think Olsen's so good, and I think she's so used to WandaVision and these dramatic scenes and trying to play it up, that in this, she delivers them like she's doing a dramatic monologue Mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. But it's that silly Ramey writing I love, and her delivering it, it's just like... It it doesn't match. There were just moments where I was like... I also... uh, They need to... They need to figure this out whether if she's got an accent or if she doesn't no she doesn't i mean i'm glad they let but, her drop it but they it but she so, doesn't but sometimes are, she gets mad and she does not in this no in, in this she had what? the accent yeah in this? It, it would pop uh, in every once in a oh, while when she would have accent. that nondescript european oh. accent it, but i mean again i can accept it maybe but like she's dropped it for like two movies and then all of a sudden it comes drifting but i will say in. when when people have uh an accent that that fades over time. Sure. It does come back yeah. when they get tired, when they get mad. That's fair. Like, oh, you, you know, yeah, so I, I, I think that, that might, that might be a choice as well. Could when a, when an could evil be. book is, <laughs> yeah, when I the, love it. Working on the their fact, soul. When the, the fact that, when that the book, that's a plot point of this movie. Yeah. yeah when the book of yeah, Ashanti. Right. <laughs> is that what it was? Uh, yeah. Always the dark on cold. time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone photoshopped, uh, Dr. Strange trying to get the book of Ashanti, but it's a album cover of Ashanti in the back. You know, in Sanskrit, Ashanti means, uh, MacGuffin. Oh, is that what it means? Oh, Interesting. Yeah, that makes it total is, sense. Yeah. It is a big MacGuffin chase. The whole movie is yeah. just a I do think, uh, also minor point, but uh, I think it's interesting that they made Wanda irredeemable at this point, right? She, sure. she slaughters all of these innocent magic men yeah. and women yeah. and bulls. <laughs> but then but then, at, no, but, but then at the end, she's like, I'm going to kill them. And I'm like, oh, those people you killed earlier? Oh. And then he brings up, and he's like, and they're like not dead, but well, you know? that I thought that as well. But there are like yeah. burned corpses. Oh, sure, the one yeah. she disintegrates uh, certainly before before that. So yeah. certainly the the <laughs> non like close up people, yeah. you know. I don't the, think, <laughs> that was funny. All the ones she lifts up at the end are like, oh, I know that. Yeah, right. The bull, the other woman. Yeah. That I don't think it counts as design. murder if it's uh, in a different multiple you're not true? from yeah okay. that's, god is okay with that <laughs> totally okay with that but yeah. she she does murder them in the 616 though 
No, oh, right. The Comertage right. is the... And the first. actual one true 616. Oh, you're right. You guys are driving me bonkers. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they... They've... I'm sorry. Oh, please. The reason it's weird to me is that we had this whole show of like, oh, wow, she did a bad thing, but she's but, made up for it, and ah, this is crazy, you know? And, and then before in this, an Ultron when she's killing people, but they redeemed her. It was an her. accident. They she's kept, trying to help. Yeah. And then in this in this one, it's it's like 10 minutes, and they're like, no, no she's all bad now. <laughs> but, but it is the... the the book of the dam it, 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 it is the dark, right. the dark hold yeah. it has taken hold of her which yeah. is i mean again if but you she have... uh she went after that dark hold willingly she did it was not foisted oh, upon no, wait, her i don't think is that but she... in wandavision she kind of Doesn't finds she... it from agatha and i yeah, think I was it, gonna say... it, it kind of like possesses her draws yeah. her to... isn't that how that ends right is agatha's got the dark hold yeah and wanda kind of gets like accidentally right it draws it and she it goes draws. to the basement and it's there and then yeah and then she's trying to find her kids so i still think you could put it on oh well uh, the book is I, nope what i think this verse this that wanda in this movie is i mean once you when you murder five superheroes but she but she's possessed like she's it's remember okay Professor X, sorry, spoilers. That's one of the cameos. He <laughs> goes. Can I tell? Wanda is trapped it's in the trailer. Oh, okay. he, Wanda's trapped is under it? the thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. The Scarlet the, Witch the, is the bad one. Wanda is no, in there. no, no. That's the Wanda from that universe. A different universe, right? The the Wanda that Pat that that's not six one six. No, that the Wanda that he sees like oh, buried, she's controlling her body. Correct. Right. That is the Wanda from that. But universe. But I still think the Darkhold is. Put at the end, no, in the end of WandaVision, mm -hmm. you see Scarlet Witch in the mirror. You see our Wanda, and then at the very end, one of the last shots, I think it's the last shot before the post credit stuff, you see she's actually in the Scarlet Witch evil yeah. get up. Mm -hmm. So I still think there's a dichotomy there. I think you have Wanda well, yeah, and the possessed. When we get to the end and she takes responsibility, sort of, for what she's done, I think that's. That's the MCU Wanda taking responsibility for what she has done. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other Wanda that we see in her mind is the Wanda, the Wanda's consciousness. Yeah, from that. I get that now yeah. that she's taken over the other. Right, right. I was and, wrong and blocked her away. Do you think that Wanda was like, "Wow, there's a kid-free version of me out there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do whatever it you want." It sounds so bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can hook up with an android. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So they they teleport to this new dimension, and everything is very. Um, utopia esque, right? The like buildings all flowers, the flowers them. everywhere. But the people all dress in black trench coats and fedoras. So it's weird because it looked kind of weird, but it looked like a uh, I don't know, like a 1984 some kind yeah. of controlled yeah. people. But then it was beautiful and utopian, so it was a weird combination, right? It, it was a good trade off. It, red is goat. Yeah, <laughs> green is <right. stuff. laughs> And I do like the, so they. But I do like the line. They only did that so later they could go go on red. Yeah. Right. I mean, they you know. They teed uh, it up. So we find out in this universe the There's a pizza papa. Right. He's Bruce Campbell and of course yeah. he gets, you know, given a little Aladdin mini thing where like she takes food and he's like, Oh, I guess I do have to pay for it and yeah. he casts a spell and he has to punch himself. That was a great I, that I think this was a yeah, great cameo very, for Bruce Campbell. Of course. It was very sad because I know probably ninety five percent of <laughs> MCU fans seeing this in the theater have no idea what Evil Dead is or Which any is of that. just so crazy. So when we talk about... Do you know the, he was supposed to be Mysterio? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. In 4. Spider-Man yeah. 4. So there's two big cameo pops in this movie, right? Like, I'm not counting the post-credit one, but there's the Illuminati stuff, and then, of course, the Bruce Campbell, which you expect. And the theater was so quiet during the <sighs> Bruce Campbell cameo. <laughs> it's so terrible. It's so sad because... And then someone online goes, this reminds me of that time when people watched the Evil Dead re remake, and they go, the guy from Burn Notice is in this? Oh, <laughs> which is so which is, sad. Again, <laughs> that's such a sad a very good show, and he's amazing well, on I know, that show. But, like, but if yes. you're watching the Evil Dead re remake, you're supposed to be like... The, the guy. Why is Briscoe County Jr. Yeah. in this movie? So anyway, <laughs> as a huge Bruce Campbell fan, it was just a little sad that I was like, because I saw this at a press screening, which, yeah, there, no one talks in that. Right. Or reacts. But I went to a crowd one, and there were lots of pops, but the Pizza Papa did that not sucks. get it. And, yeah. uh, so we find out that the reveal is that Baron Mordo, who was the bad guy from the first one, uh, well, one of the bad guys, I yeah. guess, is now the, a good guy here, and he is the... Uh, the protector of the Sanctum Santorum, and he is happy to see Stephen. He's the Sorcerer Supreme. Yes, he's the Sorcerer Supreme. 
Uh, and then he ends up drugging them both yeah. because he realizes that Steven, no matter what universe we're in, Steven is going to kind of be the bad guy. And I love Elfman's score during the stuff like the weird T visuals. And then one of my favorite scenes in any movie I've seen this whole year is when uh, Wanda is summoning using the dark cold to yeah. um, possess the the other, other Wanda. Wanda, the good Wanda from the other one. And you see like Strange and America on either side of the screen. Wanda's in the middle and they're like fading and transitioning in between the book and all the multiverse things. Yeah. And there's this weird guitar riff going on. It's just such a cool Raimi yeah. Elfman scene, you know, like very much. So. I loved it. Like I, the second time I knew it was coming, I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, so we're reintroduced to Christine. Um, what is that actress's name? Amy Adams. A- no, no, Amy no. Adams. Sorry, sorry. Rachel, Rachel McAdams. McAdams. Rachel, Rachel McAdams. McAdams. Uh, and she is like the the head of. They call it the, the Baxter, Baxter Foundation. The Baxter Foundation. Right. And I was like, yeah, that's I know the, it. Right there. That's the one that's supposed to clue you in. Which yeah. she says, oh, well, I was, you know. Yeah. When they say the Illuminati, I was like, well, we have yeah. to have him. Like right. the. To me, the Illuminati from the comics is Black Bolt, Black Bolt, Submariner, Mister Fantastic, Iron Man, uh, and um, Professor, Professor X. X. Yeah, right. So that's the so only... just Iron Man and Namor were not there. Correct, correct. So Which I gotta close. tell you, I don't think it's so weird. I don't think Disney has the rights to Namor. I think Universal. What? I think Universal might still have that oh. locked down somehow. That's uh, weird. Okay. yeah. So. We find, you know, he's she's part of the Baxter Foundation. We know that Stephen. Well, would that mean that they can't say mutant still? I don't know because he's the first mutant. No, because they own Fox. Yeah, but but they, if Namor, Namor is always oh, the first oh, mutant, oh, that's interesting. I'm sure that's if if that's true, and Universal does own Namor, they're gonna be like, no, 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 that's ours. One thing, yeah, either Disney is buying Universal <laughs> yeah. or right. they're getting those rights because, like, they're, they didn't go and buy, like, they, they pretty much bought it. Fox to get those mutants. <laughs> they they so. didn't probably. They bought Fox right, to get so. the mutants. Yeah. Um. So we we find out that Stephen has to go. They get of theme these. parks if they went if they bought Universal. Hey, see, please, uh, get the garbage Marvel heroes. <laughs> now that's like. That's a park hopper pass. Yeah, yeah, no joke. yeah for sure. You imagine? Oh my gosh. Uh, so, so here's my here's my question. In 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 uh, end game. Yeah. There's the scene where Doctor Strange talks about how I've looked at all the other yeah. universes. Yeah. I saw this one. There's one. Mm-hmm. So how come when you go to the all all the other multiverses, they seem to have not been destroyed by Thanos? because the, there's two. Well, so the only thing I could think is that in this universe. There are heroes that we don't have in the MCU, right? Like, there's a different Captain Marvel. There's a different uh, Captain America. They have the Fantastic Four. So maybe, like... But I don't think he explored the multiverses. He looked at everything they could do in that fight. Yeah, they, He right. didn't look oh, at what just, everyone else could do. I right? guess it just seems like they're, these yeah. universes are so just... At that similar point, at that but point. Doctor Strange well not him but like the Illuminati defeat Thanos in that universe yeah. so it was a totally different yeah point. and that one he's like can we go find the Fantastic Four because this may make life a lot easier yeah right yeah, well, which is a big question about every Marvel movie now is we've been introduced to so many you I'm can't tell but to I'm, go so like, here, where but are he, these but, but he says the second and I gotta tell you I called Krasinski years ago well, yeah it's Krasinski a, is the one who should be that's Reed the Richards. fan casting yeah uh, and I was going to say Spath and I were both kind of going back. He was a little flat. Now, who is nope. that? No pun in my Remi- best friend. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> uh, he is a little flat, but I, f- no pun intended, <laughs> but like, I think Reed is flat, right? Mm-hmm. Like Reed doesn't show emotion. He doesn't yeah. really have yeah, any. It's supposed to be that intellectual, and when but he not does a- show emotion. Like it's directed at Wanda and it's because he's trying to, right? So like, I'm okay with being. Do like, you think monotone. too, maybe, uh, cause like it kind of happened with Captain Marvel in what end game or something yeah. where they filmed that part before they did her movie. Oh. So you kind of do this one kind of like, well, let's just get him out there. Not do, I'm not going to do much with this character because we're going to make a movie and then I'll nail it down. Right. Which is possible, and, right? And it but won't he's, contrast as much. And he's playing off of the smartest people in the room, yeah. right? He's not talking to Sue, and he's not talking to Johnny or Ben. So it's a very different dynamic, I thought. Yeah, but the Illuminati or the the 
best of the best that are tasked with right. making these decisions. That's what they say. Like we, Doctor Strange in this universe assembled them to make the tough calls. And do, in this world, and one of those Strange is Strange uses the dark hold. Yeah, and, Doctor Strange got to go. Yeah, and I gotta tell you that Inhuman show was terrible. So the black it's bolt garbage. from the ABC Inhuman it's show the is the same guy. guy. Yeah. Okay. And so Captain Marvel is Maria Ram- Rambo from Carol Danvers' best friend. Yeah. From yep. that we saw. Yeah, but in... she's and if you notice, she's wearing the Cree color. She's mm. not wearing the the red and the blue. Yeah. And then so we get Professor X from. You know, Did you catch Patrick the Stewart? from the cartoon? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not only is. is he is he rocking the wheelchair, the yellow yeah. like hover chair, but they play the X Men ninety seven so cool. yeah. theme. I felt I like, it oh, in my dang, bones. That was like pretty the, good. You know the theme that Elfman uses that. You get the Captain uh, Steve Rogers does not take the Super Soldier Serum that right. Peggy Carter. So does. the What If episode, it's I don't think it's the same one. I do think it's a different universe, but it's almost the same it's story. The same that yeah. thing happened in yeah. this one, and also. the big re- the other big reveal is. Reed Richards, John Krasinski, John the Krasinski. number one fan casting yeah, for right, forever right. is put him in there. So this gives but the him... line. Okay, so to your point, the line that Stephen Strange has, he's like, "Didn't you guys peak in the '60s?" Mm. So my theory, what I would do is what we've talked about with Superman, right? Wait a minute, that of... was our Strange saying that? Yeah. So a, a Fantastic Four does they exist do already. Exist. Okay, but I thought. Wait, did they say something about the Fantastic Four? So nobody has said anything about them until just now. But they say the term. Uh, no. For some reason, I thought he was was it a joke commenting on the, on the name and saying like that it sounds like a '60s group. Okay, yeah, because there was something I'm with music. I thought that. too. Was I th- a joke. So I thought he said, "Didn't you guys peak in the right. '60s?" He did, but I so, thought he was making a joke about a music thing. There, right. it, that does sound familiar. But, but then maybe you just do it all fun and loose <laughs> yeah. enough that you can yeah. it can be either I'm, way. What you would do, like you've said, like Tommy said before about Superman, set him in the '40s. Yeah, set the Fantastic Four movie. Oh, so that's a prequel in the '60s. And it doesn't have to mess with any of this right. convoluted None of nonsense. And then they get stuck in the f- negative zone. Yeah. And, and that's then they come out. Negative zone later. to them yeah. is three days. To us, it's fifty right. years. I like it. That's and a way. The fantastic let them do their own the... thing. Give them a good or you don't have to really do a big origin. Do but the same give them their story. own story. Give them their own right. Thing. Give them their own thing, and then not like where's Captain America? But no, you where? said in the sixties soundtrack. Yeah. yeah, you set them in the sixties. I like it. You get to do the space race. You get to yeah. do the reason they're in the air and the cosmic rays. Ba 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 ba. It's great. Fight the, mole, fight the mole man. Call it a Feige, day. if you're listening, we want credit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's we want right. to write this thing. Uh, so Wanda ends up like walking through and she ends up. You mean just... the Terminator? Yeah, yeah. basically. I mean, I this was is great. awesome. It, it's awesome. Yeah. Right? Like, yes, she is bad. We don't think she's a good person or anything. But as far as villains and doing bad metal stuff, stuff goes, she's pretty metal. She's pretty cool. Yeah, she's got, pretty cool. I guess it's robot blood because <laughs> they can't I mean, do it real looks blood. like she's got I blood wondered, all over I wondered, I thought, I bet they went over the color of mm-hmm. that blood. Oh, yes. Yeah. Make so it darker. Much. How much red, red can it be? <laughs> like, that's too red. That's Could too red. Could be PG-13 <laughs> if it were like. Real. I would think at this point, the MPAA just has a color that they give them. <laughs> that they're just <laughs> like, it has to be. The, you know. Yeah. This, can't be this red. This, this is the number it gets to right. be. Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> three two yeah right. Yeah. So I I did think that scene was really I, cool. The fight sequence. I love the line. Oh, I the, think it was Richard Krasinski line? where he's like, "We can handle your little witch." Oh, and then like she breaks in, and, and I do like that. No, it's Maria Rambo. Is that who says yeah, it? Because she okay. is like, I mean, that actress does a really good job as being like this hard ass and kind of unlikable because she's just like, "Yeah, we got this." She's very mm-hmm. sure Mil- of herself. Militaristic. Yeah, yeah, and she's very sure of herself, and it does doesn't, not last doesn't go long. Well. I yeah. do so. Yeah, so we read immediately. You get a little bit of the stretchy power, but not a lot. Yeah. Like, just enough. Just, just enough. Which also feels to me like we're not exactly sure how we're going to do it, yeah. Yeah. what it's going to look like when he stretches. So We're going to try this one thing. He's a gonna, little bit. Right. But how hard was that line, though? Do your kids have a mother? As soon as she yes. said that, I was like, well, good. Oh. Somebody will be able to <laughs> raise them. Like, oh, my God. That she was... <laughs> turns him into like the, the, the peel away Twizzler. The visual of it was like him turning into a bunch of strands. Well, does, it, does it start with Black Bolt? Where she's yeah. like, he can well, take you out with one mouth. word. She's like, well, what if he doesn't have a mouth? With, with what mouth? Yeah, and, and then, then he then blows his brain another up. Another <laughs> great horror thing with the mouth stitched. Kind of like in Matrix, with that's that really that's, terrifying yeah. scene with his mouth but stitched. But he makes a sound, he blows his own yeah, brain and, out. Yeah. And then Reed Richards, he gets that peeled or whatever you want to call it, and then poop is and right to his head. His head. Pop. Just, just, just so you know for sure. <laughs> and that's where it pushes the PG-13. Yeah. People oh, are yeah. talking about, you know, where it's this fight right there's here. A head, there's a head. There's two head shots. There's scary stuff. Scary stuff for kids especially. And I think there's a lot of stuff where it's like, yeah, that's PG-13. When you get to this, yeah. you're like, okay. Yeah. And then uh, she takes out Maria. She squishes Maria Rambo with like a, a 
the two the of them, uh, Captain Carter and Rambo, are like doing a tag team where the uh, whoa, well, <laughs> hey now, it, it pushes the PG thirteen <laughs> once yeah. again. But she's up in the air, and Captain Carter's throwing the shield and everything. But then Wanda catches the shield, throws it back, and this is where you get the. Well, yeah, she says. <laughs> No, she's beating her up pretty good. And then she goes, don't you ever give up. And, of course, Peggy gets the line, I could do this all day. I and could then... do this all day. <laughs> Governor? Just like that. She a Just chimney like that. sweep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and then, to your, yeah, Kevin, she throws the shield, and I think Wanda catches it and flicks it back at her and cuts her in half. Yeah. And so what they want to do is the, the very cool thing we've seen. Isn't it even in Blade? Or what movie is it where they slice someone in half and they go... It's definitely in Blade because his body comes back together. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, where, yeah, where they slice them diagonally through the middle of their body and they each Slide, part goes yeah. different directions. But this one, it's just the top half of her body and you see her lean to the side. But you hear it like... You I know, gotta tell you, they're like... I collect comics, shockingly enough. Oh. What? There has been this weird rush on anything so captain carter has shown up in multiple books mm. and people are scurrying to get his like there's an exiles number three where she's on the cover there's a oh, captain sure. carter comic there's a avengers forever where she shows up and people are just like oh just trying to buy up anything they can with her on it same way with we'll get into yeah. in july with jane foster who oh. i don't think is our jane foster <gasps> oh thanks she's yeah from Mjol- the- mjolnir's gone Mm, interesting. Okay. It's got cracks, though, right? No, oh. in the in the in the trailer. No, Hella. No, the 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 Mjolnir that we get in Endgame is the one from the past. Hella in Thor three. No, Thor right. three blows it up. But but what about the one from the past? But they, Captain, Captain America, America put it back. Put it back. Oh, that's... but I thought in the trailer when Jade Foster gets the the uh, Mjolnir, it had like cracks in it, like she. Oh, I don't think maybe so. maybe I made it up. But mm-hmm. no, I, I'm betting yeah, that's a multiverse that Jane Thor. But well, uh, we should also mention, too, that Wanda, like we've hinted at, but just so people know that haven't seen it, maybe, she is using the Darkhold to possess another good okay. Wanda that has the kids in this universe. Right. So the whole time, she is floating in the the top of this mountain, which I guess is from the comics it's, I looked the, up. It's the Darkhold. Like, that's the original yeah. place, the Darkhold. But the, yeah. yeah. So the comics that where all these runes are that give the magic of the Darkhold, um, she is doing a seance, and she's floating there in the air. Wong is tied up. So we keep cutting back to this thing of like what's happening in our world Mm -hmm. and so Wong is trying to break free and one of the one of his students comes back from near death and stabs the dark hole. I think that's his love interest. The way they, really? yeah, mm. okay, yeah, I do. So that happened, and then that's why she brought him to the mountain to get like the source. The dark hold is the writings of these runes from the mountain, right? And then now they're doing this ritual there. So yeah. just that's all happening in the background. Yes. Am I allowed to complain about things? Oh, on please, this show? of course. About us or about the movie? Movies. Oh, general. Yeah, absolutely. Movies yeah. in general. <laughs> I I gotta tell you. I I I'm pretty good at turning my brain off. Sure. Not oh, we know. About we have no doubt. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The old suspension of disbelief. Uh, magic in movies is real tough for me. <laughs> How does it work? What is the limitations? Magic. Well, she can take your, your mouth away. Yeah. Yes. And, and in a very real physical way. Mm-hmm. But then Captain Carter is giving her trouble. That's the problem. She's OP. She's she's unbeatable and they have to like wanda no one should be able to beat wanda that is the she's superman right she's just mm, yeah but you know what i mean yeah no one can beat these characters that is the just biggest problem make you have. captain carter's she head snap. go away yes, she should, right <laughs> there should be no fight between any of the illuminati and Fuse wanda. dr strange's fingers together yeah, yeah. or it, even him a lobster claw that's right yeah. and he can't do his little hand cord during the car, car, car crab crab main hall yeah. fight the, the, then it's all these magic people, right? And yeah. they can all do crazy stuff. But then they're just shooting like laser, laser bolts at each <laughs> right. other because, well, we can't do. And uh, once Wanda's in there, she just has to wave her hand. Right. And they're all that. I mean, there's a whole thing in the comics where she is. She's. I mean, her her powers are reality based, right? Yeah. She can alter reality however she right. wants. So in the comics, there's a line like she is the cause. She says, "No more mutants." And all of the <laughs> yeah. mutants in the in the in the six one six. Oh yeah. Well, the comic books. Heard of yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Disappear. 
Yeah. Like, except for the ones that are popular. Everybody else <laughs> loses their <laughs> Not power. Not Wolverine. <laughs> Not Wolverine. Oh. <laughs> so I think I think it's safe to say, like, for the listeners, we get it. There has to be a movie. That's why they do this. It, yes, but yes. to your point, it doesn't make sense it, in the world they've established. And magic cause... is just one of the worst. And that's, I feel like that about Harry Potter. I feel like they come up to the, the, the wall, and then they're like, what do we do? It's a wall. And they're like, well, I actually know the wall spell. And then they look <laughs> right, the like, <laughs> ah, man, I don't know. <laughs> At I, least in Harry Potter, there were sp- there were certain spells you had to know for things. That, so like, yeah. Maybe you just didn't know that spell, you know. But yeah, when you're when you can change reality, right? To anything, anything you that want, literally means like the other people that don't have those powers are defenseless. <laughs> yes, and I, I and they thought should, the same and, thing. And she knows when you're coming, right? Yeah. Like she, there's like Santa Claus, like, just like Santa Claus. Oh, is that on Voodoo? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Good, yeah. Uh, so they jump to this other dimension. The the Wanda has decimated this entire. The Illuminati is all gone. Everybody, all of the heroes of Earth, I guess. There's are gone. really only three universes they go to in this movie. Yeah. we get a funny little glimpse of them, like, oh, they're paint, oh, they're whatever, and it's fun, that was cool. But it's a gag, right? And yeah. So when I think of this movie, the multiverse of madness, right I don't there think with you. I don't <laughs> think the three multiverses. I think like we're gonna like explore what's well, especially one like. is the one you're in, right? Yeah, right. right. We really only get the two. <laughs> There's only right, two. Yeah, and the right. other one, you're only in one building of that universe. I right? assumed go the to... Illuminati would be like Jewish bankers. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a different. <laughs> podcast That's it. And, I, and, I, and i do want to explore that liberty but. truth pizza <laughs> yeah I, I assumed that like that dr strange would be doing all this stuff in all these different universes yeah. and then the illuminati would be they would pull him in to yeah. be like hey we're kind of yes like that loki show but yeah. different uh and, right. and it wasn't like that they just happened to be in that one but then there's the thing like america she takes you to the yeah. one you got to be in and that's fine and that works for me yeah. it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's which fine. is right i mean <laughs> they made it into our movie this movie was two hours and 40 minutes and they trimmed down to two hours and five minutes well i would be interested so, to know like what that 35 minutes i know I, they get I think it was just yeah. all bruce campbell punched himself in the face done which is what, why we need it but no, but that's the thing is like it moves at a brisk pace but this is one of those rare exceptions where i'm kind of like i want more and i i you know and i think I we, if we'll get more you don't typically you don't get director's cuts on yeah. on you might get, like movies. deleted scenes though it would yeah. be interesting yeah. if a you marvel know? would do it because i mean there's some that other would ones. be crazy well here's while we're gunning for feige's job <laughs> then there you go if you have disney plus Oh, yeah, for you get sure. The you get the two hour and 45 yeah. minute version of Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's get and then the we'll, Joker deleted scene. Yeah, even <laughs> in Doctor Strange. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we're seeing, I sent Tom a picture. They're on Thursday night previews. We're not even talking about the movie comes out Friday. Yeah. Thursday night previews. There were theaters with 75 show times. Dude, Ronnie's. So I saw Ronnie's two, Thursday night yeah. at 10 o'clock, every screen. Right. Every ah. screen at Ronnie's was Dr. Strange. Wow. Of a 20, yeah. whatever. It's crazy. But, so that's the thing. Like, previews, 75 screens. So two hours lets you get in a lot more previews. Yeah. And they say it's not, you know, Ramey did interviews and he's like, it's not for money. It's blah, blah. But, like, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know, though, I, because, I mean, if if you're already taking over every showtime on every screen. Right. Does, I know, but does, 40 minutes, that's but, every four. But you're already getting every showtime on every screen. <laughs> like, Well, what? I know, but every four. And they're starting it earlier and earlier. Earlier, yeah. earlier. Like, I think just, I think Ronnie's had one starting at like eight on a Thursday. Wow. It's black. And they right. started at three p.m. and they were <laughs> running. Well, yeah. You know, I'm just saying. Black I'm a little. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that I, I like don't know when you do it. Let's just <laughs> yeah, we don't. <laughs> this is fun over here. Yeah, this is like nine years wasted. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know. It seems a little bit strategic to me that they cut it down that much, and I would like lot. to know what it's was a, in the other ones it's because a lot they are of cut out of there. and they're raking in the dough. This is going to be. I think it's supposed to open to. Two hundred and five million. Uh, the Wikipedia right now shows it at two hundred and twenty-five. So does that open? That I gotta tell you, you better thank Spider-Man. Yes, I well, said the same thing to Kevin. That. I was like, "That's a Spider-Man." Spider-Man bump. Bump. That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you say multiverse and coming off of, yeah. uh, and as great as Spider-Man was, yeah, that third one's good. Yeah, this is this is thanks Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. So they go to this now the third main universe, which is one where there has been a an incursion, are, an incursion, mm-hmm. which is from the comic books mm-hmm. and Secret War. So yes. that's what they're hinting at. Um, what maybe what I, causes yeah. an incursion? It's when two you uni- like there's basically too much if your presidential candidate doesn't win, <laughs> okay, then you get to storm the Capitol. <laughs> okay, and that's an incursion. That's no, and you think that that's an incursion? That's an insurrection. My bad. It's my very bad. different. I wouldn't right. call that an incursion. Yeah. <laughs> but so Doc- I think I think it's when one person, like when one person from a different 
universe starts meddling starts meddling in this other universe like the, and there's too many like things you stay are, there too long so is you, that a way of them kind of saying like well no we can't just kinda. bring people over whenever we want oh i guess that's true or maybe too much of it because right. i think it's when you make changes and then things start to be so similar between the two universes oh, that they they okay. are uh, drawn they together to drawn and, together and yeah. Yeah. but I, I mean yeah i it's like a paradox. that yeah. i like oh, the idea God. of like giving them a way to be able to say and then when they don't want to say it they won't you're right. But they, then they can well, say, we say that. Doctor Strange do casts some weird spell, and now it's sure. not a problem anymore. They can do it, but then when they don't want to do it, and people go, "Why didn't you just blah blah?" and they go, "Incursion." Yeah, good thing they invented that. the thing it's, that lets you yeah. smoke in space. Yeah. From, <laughs> That's exactly uh, it. <laughs> was that? Thank you for smoking. Thank yeah. you for smoking. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. It's a great movie. Oh, it's a great movie. Um, so oh, we thought we, that was. I thought there was a Lobo movie. I didn't know. About. <laughs> <laughs> they tried. They yeah. tried for years. So we get to meet like the evil Doctor Strange, who has been taken over by the Dark Old, yeah. who has the third eye, which is also f- from the comics, which I thought was cool. This is one of the most original, clever fight scenes I've ever seen in a movie. It man it fighting could, with music notes. Was, I thought oh, it was really fun, and it could have been really. It, it is kind of dumb, but it was in like, a good way. Right. It was fine. Right? I, I liked I, it. But they, I, I mean, you got to give them credit for being original yeah, in this movie. I thought this was pretty dope. I thought that was really cool. And they're doing the like the evil Doctor Strange has like dun 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 dun, but he's also got a Doctor, different color. And, yeah, and Doctor yeah. Strange has like the good music, and they're fighting. It, it was like a Fantasia live action. Yeah. Really and cool. if you know anything about fighting s- with music notes, Iron Maiden. Totally. You go straight to yeah, the maiden. Go, no, you go Dragon like, Force. I just like if you're going to do it, go Dragon Force and see what happens. Like. But I liked I just, that it was classical. I don't know. It was a cool scene. I thought it was really Yeah, no, really it is neat. it's very it's very imaginative. It is I mean, it, that's the advantage of Doctor Strange, right? Is you can do anything. Right. It's odd. It, it, right. It's bizarre. A little bit bizarre, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can I mean, you can make anything you want a reality right. with 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 the magic. So this was cool. So he ends up killing this Doctor Strange. I like how he takes one music note off a harp and yeah. the other Strange doesn't see it coming and it their their forces are like combined into this one big thing and, and then the, 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 the little window. one blows him out <laughs> and then he lands on a spike yeah. and he pulls a Gaston. It's cuz everybody hates harp music. Yeah. Right, nobody likes that. <laughs> no, yeah. he did it. You're saying he just gave up cuz he's like yeah, he was just <laughs> I mean what sucks more than harp music? <laughs> Harp's a chord maybe. The way worse. Find one of those. Yeah, gross. You know? Um, so this is, we should say that Wanda has taken America back to the regular universe and she is taking her power. Steven realizes so that the 616 is what we call not that. Six one six. We don't call it the regular universe. It's the MC. It's a very it's easy six one seven. nomination. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. Oh. Uh, I gotta tell you, it, <laughs> I hope in one of these movies that we do cross over into the six, like the real 616 <laughs> and it's just hand drawn animation. I think so, they tried oh, to do man. that. They were animated so, for a second. That's true. They were. Yeah, that's very I cool. Want more, I want to see more universes. Yeah. Um, there was so, a uh, there was a pizza universe. I think there was, there was paint, and there was another one that was food. I thought there was some, hot dog fingers. Yeah, <laughs> two two multiverse movies within months of each other with mustard going all over the characters. I'm just saying. Uh, so strange has to like dream walk or whatever they call it. Mm-hmm. And of course, this version of Christine's like this is a bad idea, and he's like, I don't have a choice. If you see things going bad, like just stick with me. I like how he's like, hey, you human, if demons start attacking my body, <laughs> you don't let them do that. Well, you and, should okay, now shush in, them away. Yeah, yeah. Now, in, 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 in this gonna... Christine's defense, she knows all this stuff. This version of Christine is a is so she expert. should have known enough to go. I can't do that. Yeah. What are you talking about? She's a scientist. They're demons, but, she, but she's a scientist of the multiverse. Okay, she from knows the, multiverse, she's, she's but from, demons, from the Baxter Foundation. I know <laughs> bears exist. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't fight one off. Saying, and, and how Army of Darkness what are these was demons? The oh, oh, I could. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. For those demons, Paddington. <laughs> I would never. Yeah, it's too <laughs> excellent no, answer. Yeah. Excellent answer. These, yeah, Those this, demons this are whole the skeletons from Army of Darkness. This whole part, they're like a uh, stop motion. They're stop are, are, motion. It looks like they have they look like frames. They are. Yes. They're the skeletons from Army yeah. of Darkness. All right, with the voices and their weird movement. It's so cool. This, this is my favorite part of the movie. So it's we great. realize that Strange has to get back to the regular Earth. Six one six. Oh, okay, uh, and he, Christine's like, "There's no you on that Earth." He's like, "Well." I didn't say there was one an alive one, and of course we get the get some Elfman riffs. Oh and you yeah, go the back hand to the, comes the out, and we get the zombie strange. I was like, the, we finally get Marvel zombies. That's exactly it. Yeah, yeah. I wish I hadn't sold those issues. I got to tell you, <laughs> that sucks. Now, uh, how long was that body sitting there? 
that's a good question. I, well, we don't really know how time works. Oh, wow. And he's from you a know? different universe, right? So maybe hold the phone though, because we do. Because Wanda <laughs> was in, still in the actual one true six one six. The one true six one six. Right. So we know the timeline, but we don't know how time works when they're in another multiverse and then they pop back in. We don't know how long they've been gone. But it's the, like but if the you're body, on the moon or if you're on a different planet and you're super strong. Well, and, you know what? He might have bacteria on him yeah. from Well, we know that he does, his right? His universe. Because he's got like he got cut by that weird mummy monster. Okay, and maybe that Well, let's just say, to their credit, that body's pretty decomposed. <laughs> that is true. Right? Well, so like, and, and and what am I gonna not want a decomposed body? Like <laughs> I, I don't really care. Let me see that. You want one of those fresh looking dead bodies? No, like, oh, give me a. Let he me gives, see some he gives an inspirational <laughs> speech with half his face. Missing. So great, like, so great. <laughs> you see his mouth moving, and he's like, ah, ah, ah. And so it's like, <laughs> it's the. This is the most Sam Raimi. It's so Sam this. Raimi. That's why this part is great. The yeah. back half, like the once it gets going into Sam Raimiville, it's wonderful. Right. And I only wish they could have done a little bit more and stretched it I out. I think we did. I think they did, and that's part of the thirty. I know. Minutes. That's. I think they yeah. said, "Hey, let's tone it down and make this." Because the one complaint I'm hearing from this is from people that don't know Sam Raimi and right. they're MCU fans. Just, just not trying to knock them, but they're just like, "This is like possible. the MCU." I, a different time, man. I guess these but guys I, have. But been, how similar is a Doctor Strange comic to an Iron Man comic? Right. Not similar right. at all. Very like, not at all. And that's the beauty of what the MCU is, has accomplished. I totally agree with you. Is and I think, that they can tell very different stories, and sometimes with the same characters. Yeah, but. Your Iron Man yeah. isn't the same in your Iron Man movie right. than he is in the Avengers movie. But he's using the demons. Which I, I've i oh. got to tell you. They when become he, his cape. Oh. He's doing the like, I don't know what you call this, whatever movements, like their demon yep. arms are making all the that, different. It's cool. I want that as a figure yeah. so bad. It's very cool. Like the, just with the demon cape. So like, cool. It's so great. And all, I love all the demons are fighting because, oh yeah, because Christine starts blowing them away with these secret so great. It's bazookas so, and whatever but, okay, they are. So here's the thing. That's Doctor Strange. You just accept the fact that it's just weird. Yeah, and it doesn't it, make sense. No, it's great. I'm not yeah. complaining at oh, all. Okay. I'm saying no. I'm saying she's blowing demons away with those. Yeah. like the in the what first a tag team now she's I, blowing <laughs> demons yeah. away. It's different. Oh, you okay. have to, yeah, wait because I'm like if that's what we're doing, they really miss an opportunity with having two Wandas. That's true. It's <laughs> you know? a good point. Oh, oh, about that. Don't okay. even get mad yeah. started about twins. Twins. <laughs> if you no, listen to twins, pod- twins are gross because that's but, incest. There's well, a whole. <laughs> But there's, there's a whole episode that's a good Matt question, does on right? his podcast. Like there's there's two people this. who are <laughs> the same person, the same person, but from different universes. <laughs> so you're just jacking that's, yourself that's off. That's just yeah. masturbation. <laughs> okay. Right? There's right. a billboard where they just copy and paste the same person. Yes. <laughs> and the point of it is like, what are you trying to say here? They're hot. They're the same person, but they're not really. <laughs> they, they change the color of her shirt <laughs> yes. to make it look like it's uh, two right. it's twins, essentially. I think that. <laughs> Whatever. You should, hey, listen to Matt Fowler's podcast. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, uh, yeah. So the so Steve, strange shows up. strange attacks as zombie strange. Uh, Wong and, was incapacitated, but comes back and fights the evil Minotaur. And um, um, America realizes that the only way we're going to stop this is if the boys who that Wanda has been after sees that this version of Wanda is evil, like straight mm. up evil. So she. Rocky, so smart. She, she rockies yeah, it. I mean, no, nothing solves problems like parental alienation. Let me I gotta tell you, mm-hmm. I thought the same thing yeah. when she was like, "No, I'm gonna show your sons how evil you can get." And the other ones, but like, I guess technically it's not her sons, but no. but those boys also are just like, "Hey, that's my mom." Right. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> genius. This is great because she realizes once uh, Zombie Strange gives her a pep talk, and America says, "I get it. You got to take my powers." And he's like, "Nope, I'm not being like those other Doctor Stranges." And he lets her go, and he's just like, "Use your power." Or motivational speech she, she rockies it and and she starts like she's gonna punch scarlet witch and like yeah she's kicking her ass but this is the scarlet witch you can't beat her right but she outsmarts her and it's just like in civil war when zemo outsmarts the avengers mm-hmm. he can't mm-hmm. beat them with his strength but he beats them with his mind and i like how she does that to scarlet witch yeah she makes that she makes the boys see how evil she is yeah, and she, how she's attacking their mom right like the this version of wanda's getting yeah, if she wins what them. is she going to get she's going to get kids that, that know she's a horrible yeah. exactly. exactly and there's exactly. this there's some good lines in this from like the evil villain perspective like her self realization she's like no i would never hurt you i would never hurt anyone and they pan over to the other wanda <laughs> she's just kicked her ass and she's like oh yeah you know those avengers and the illuminati yeah. you just decimated with no problem whatsoever that's a problem 
uh, so she realizes that she's wrong. She flashes, you know, she goes, she leaves that world, uh, and she comes she back. She destroys to, every dark hole. Yeah, she. Mm-hmm. That's exactly it. In yeah. Every multiverse. Every multiverse. Every dark hole is gone. Uh, she crushes the the original place of the dark hole, um, with her inside. And you do. It, it is. I mean, obviously, they could say you could say like the little tuft of red that right. we see is her getting away right because there is like a, is it, like, a, like a small <laughs> show me the body i don't <laughs> there's like a small red tuft like yeah which know, right you is, see it, it, that's her dying that's her escaping oh, anything that right? creepy professor x scene with the all white and then the red smoke and she cuts her arms another Raimi thing you know, oh her, yeah her evil witch arms come out of the smoke and snap his neck i gotta tell you that's, that's the oldest i've seen him look well, yeah, he's old. what's the oldest he's that's, been. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> but like I, I'm, you know, he's, he's usually of... sitting in a chair. Uh, now he's right. walking. 20, now he's walking 20. around. I was like, man, that's a long looks... time ago, man. Even Logan was ten. What was I that? guess that's true. Ten years ago now. No, mm-hmm. oh, is that right? Eight years ago. I mean, yeah. It's... Jesus, we've been doing this a long time. Uh, not just this episode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's um, got to be like 2013, right? I mean, that's no, 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 no. 2013's Man of Steel. Okay. First we episode. First ten episode. Years. Yeah. So, but like, something about we had the Wolverine before yeah. that. Yeah, the Wolverine and then Logan. I'm just, I'm saying, just saying it's been a while. It's man. been a while. Yeah. But here's the other thing: is we now we know that Krasinski is your Reed Richards. Like that's kind of a big deal. Like I think uh, Krasinski might be our Reed Richards. That's yeah. the thing. They can have their cake and eat it. I guess too. that's right. true. You could say it. You could. Say Carter's it's not a, our Captain America. I, so like they but, could do oh, that. I guess differently, that's true. But you could say that the. Yes, that's fair. Well, then, so they they got to do the fan casting thing if they right. decide to bring and him they in. have the option that another I still, multi- I still think it should be Bill Hader. Oh, I'd be into that. Yeah. yeah, Bill Hader and uh, Seth Rogen as Ben Grimm. But in another thing, you got to respect. I think about the Illuminati stuff. A lot of people are like, "Oh, these cameos are so obvious." Like, come on, blah blah. blah. But it's like, you know what? But Raimi killed them all. I, they got <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Yeah, right. They, they did. They got to have all these cameos. We're like, whoa! And then you got Raimi's what like, you wanted, and you take it right. And he back. took it all yeah, away, so. and you got to give him it's props. The ve- yeah. It's the Venom thing, right? Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. So you know, everybody's okay. Everybody's back to normal. Uh, the last thing we see is Strange is going out into the world, and all of a sudden he f- has like a mental attack. And now, since he has used the Dark Hold, he now has the third eye, which does not bode well. Yeah, right. Like that's not good. Uh, the first po- post credit sequence, and and I want to punch the post credit sequence right in the dick because I thought the ending of this movie was great, and then they immediately un- undermine it. So yeah. immediately. <sighs> She's a character, right? So Charlize Theron shows up, which is what, like the big reveal that she has not been she's announced as. She's the niece of Dormammu. But she's also Stephen Strange's wife. Right. Yeah. She is Clea Strange. In the comic books right now, she is the Sorceress Supreme because they have to say that, a I guess. Big eye roll on I know. that. Wow. Just call her the Sorcerer and call it. Don't need to change it or whatever. Do you hate uh, to see a girl boss win? No, I love it. It sounds... I mean... Oh, man. You yeah. I think you saying... <laughs> hang out with Dylan. I think there's I'm a new saying, podcast. I'm saying you shouldn't call her the Sorceress. I'm saying you call her the Sorcerer. Right. He's saying the same way that you yeah. would say just yeah, cheer person That's the board. right. Yeah. He's so backing right. it up <laughs> now that he's... Okay. Uh, and basically, there's been an incursion. Get your ass in gear. We're going. And then he's like, okay. And pops open his third eye and yeah, runs yeah into like the so it ends with like oh my god he has a third eye and it's taking over and what's this gonna mean and then like two seconds later like no i got shit under control right i got it yeah no, but, it like, does undermine like it. i yeah. i didn't like that no i agree. at all i think if you're gonna do it i mean don't give him the third eye and let him go multiverse traipsing around yeah fine but now we've got the dark yeah. and then the last la- of the course, real postcard <laughs> is bruce campbell punching himself in the face three being, weeks later <laughs> i do like where he says you know it's basically ferris bueller where he's like, "You're still here. It's over," and then it ends. It's over. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's uh, yeah. I think this is. Uh, I think No Way Home is the best they've done so far. I think this is probably a. Cl- this is middling Marvel, but middling Marvel is still better than eighty percent of other action totally. movies. Totally, this is not yeah. better than Shang Chi, though. No, no. Yeah. I think I think it's Spider Man, Shang Chi, this, yeah. and then everything else after that. <laughs> Eternals at the very bottom yeah. of the entire MCU. <laughs> yeah, <Jeez. laughs> agreed. Really? Oh, yeah, I like I, Eternals. I'll, I'll watch. Thor Dark World before Easily. I watch Eternals. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, anyway, I guess that's it for this one. Let's go around the table and everyone can say where to find them. Oh, me first? Yeah. Look at that. Uh, the, the only thing that matters is that I'm on the Real Spoilers <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> we, we talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We We're, We're going to talk about the Evil Dead, yeah. and that's that's it. That's it. We might do the TV show. We haven't, we haven't talked about that yet. I've edge of my seat. I, I can't wait. <laughs>
Uh, this is Joe. You can follow me on the Twitter <laughs> at Joey Butts, B-U-T-T-S-21. This is Kevin. You can follow me on Twitter at Kevin R. Brackett and check out the Games We Love podcast. And this is Tom. You can find me on Twitter at Roger Kubert or on Facebook at facebook.com slash Tom O'Keefe. So that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, Dave is the prime millennium. Get ready for a spoiler. Won't say it twice because we